of when you came to visit Arthur in New York, what did you guys do? Well, I was really shocked that she saved her pocket money. And with that money, she took me for lunch. And she booked me in Elizabeth Arden's Spa. <laughs> she, she would walk with me to coffee shops and grocery. And maybe dinner for me after she would come back from school. I mean, New York brings me back to where I started. Tell me when to start. So, I have one more memory, last memory, of when I came to visit Arthur in New York and I was staying at a fr mom's friend's apartment. And I stayed, I went and took my stuff into the spare room. And, um, I was convinced that that apartment was haunted and I was terrified. So I got into the room and it was freezing, it was like a cold, scary breeze. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so scared that I have to live here. And immediately she came into the room, she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, why are you putting your stuff in here? Come and stay with me. And I was so happy. Oh my god, I can stay with Arthur. I didn't have to stay in the haunted room. <laughs> So, yeah, when I visited her in New York, it was amazing to see how disciplined she was. She would always get up early morning, go to sleep, stress work, and do her training. Um, that was really amazing and encouraging. And we had nice lunches at, at Frederick's, which unfortunately has closed by now. And we had a nice tea at the Four Seasons. 
uh, but the most funny part was that she thought there was uh, there was a ghost in the apartment we stayed in. So uh, that was that was quite funny, and uh, uh, I'll never forget that. Now with all of his friends, and um, no, anyway. So he wanted to go. I was in Kerala, and I was all alone. I had no one to hang out with, and I wasn't being treated very well. And Arthur was like, take my card number and go to the spa in the hotel and just do your own thing. And don't feel like you need to be obliged to hang out with anybody, just act independent. It was so cute.